My name is William Lynch, founder and executive director of RISE. And whether you believe it or not, sexual predators are relentlessly targeting our children every day. In fact, it's estimated that 300,000 children are being sexually abused every year in the United States. For crimes that society considers exceptionally heinous, like murder, Lawmakers impose no statutes of limitations because the need to protect the public from the killers outweighs the rights of the accused. Like murder, child sexual abuse is an equally heinous crime. Yet lawmakers continue to impose time constraints on sex crimes against children, which protects the rights of pedophiles who are often well-respected pillars of the community and hold positions of authority, credibility, and power. When the rights and reputation of pedophiles are valued more than the rights of children, when institutions perpetually choose their own best interests over the welfare of children, and when legislatures continually capitulate to the political pressure from powerful lobbyists and fail to put measures in place to protect children, it's obvious that this problem can never be resolved from within the system. Because children are at risk today, it is up to us to resolve this issue ourselves. Fortunately, the state's ballot initiative system gives advocates, like me, the ability to bypass the legislative process and take the vote directly to the electorate, which I intend to do state by state beginning in California. This course of action has been highly successful in multiple states, giving voters the authority to finally put pedophiles and the institutions that harbor them on notice that they will never be safe from prosecution, incarceration, and liability. While I'm committed to ending the cycle of sexual abuse against children, I know I cannot do it alone. It's going to take the time, talent, and treasure of people who believe in placing the welfare of children above all else. Please join me. Take a stand. Donate. Get involved. Get out and vote. Do whatever it takes to transform this issue now. Any contribution, regardless of how small, is greatly appreciated. On behalf of children at risk everywhere, thank you.